Right, welcome back to the channel. If you're a golfer that wants or fancies a new driver but doesn't fancy the prices of the latest releases in 2022, you might want to watch this video because you can save yourself a huge amount of money on a driver that is performing incredibly well. Now let's get one thing straight, what I'm about to show you is not the best performing driver of 2022. But if you're all about saving money, you ain't gonna give up a lot by going down this route. Okay, so from a brand that features very little on the channel, it is of course from Cleveland, it's the Launcher XL Lite, and that light element being a key word in saving you a huge amount of money, and maybe not losing a great deal in terms of performance which I'll explain and demonstrate later in the video. Right, so you know about the cost and we know about uh, how this thing looks, but how does it perform? Now the big key thing that they claim with this driver is that it is super light. In fact, it's 12% lighter than that top dog, that Cleveland XL in the range, 12% lighter club head that is, and a longer shaft. And what it's claiming to do is make it easier for you to increase your club head speed, increase ball speed, and then hit longer drives. And we'll put that to the test because I will hit this and I will hit the Cleveland XL and we'll analyze the numbers and see just what happened with that 12% lighter club head. Okay, so the first thing for me why I was drawn to this product was just how good it looks in terms of sat on the shelf. Interestingly enough, we always see the underneath of a club, the bit that we don't look uh, down on at a dress, but this is the first thing that drew me to it. Looks really good, quality build. And then when you turn it over and look at the crown, for me again, really, really interesting matte finish quality finish and something that, uh, like I said, I've been a big fan of over the last few years, that Mac Crown looks really good at a dress. So at the moment, it was ticking all the boxes. And then I found out about the price. Okay, so that price is a key factor. And what I learned was that the Cleveland Launcher XL Lite is 279 British pounds. And that's about half the price of the leading competitors of 2022. So already, yeah, that's a huge, huge saving. Within Cleveland's own range, they also have its big brother, which is the Cleveland Launcher XL. The difference between the two is this is fully adjustable. Well, that's one of the differences, and clearly why you're gonna pay a little bit more for this than you would for that. But what I wanna show you in this video is that there is very little difference just to split these two alone, and I reckon this is the real star of Cleveland's driver lineup for 2022, and some big savings for you to make. So the question I'm asking myself is, I'm saving perhaps 200 pounds on one of those mainstream competitors, so what am I losing out on? Well, already, like I said, in terms of adjustability, just in this range, there is a difference and there's limitations. The sound is probably a little bit sharp in my ears and therefore resonating in sort of feel. It's not the softest sounding, let's just say. But I'll be honest with you, when we get to performance, you'll see this does extremely well. The question is, does it do well enough to suggest it's worth saving that 200 pound? I do know it's another sort of half decent shot if you like. I'm certainly gonna find a fairway, I would imagine. And that's what we've continually done throughout this test. My general sort of feedback is this, that um, the, the driver is performing reasonably well. I said at the beginning of the video, this isn't the longest driver I've tested of 2022 by any means, in my opinion, even though as you all know, all drivers are governed by exactly the same rules. We just don't find this to be firing off the face quite as fast as what some other drivers have done. But overall, it's a decent, steady performer. And don't forget, there's a huge price difference between what I'm suggesting is at the top end between where this is. Is that difference in price justifiable or not? Right, it's very easy to complicate reviews and uh, this is not going to be one of those, I'm afraid. We're going straight into data and get this over and done with and tell you exactly where I think you're at with this uh, Launcher XL Lite driver. Before I get to my end thoughts on that, I just want to do a little bit of a comparison. Don't forget, the XL Lite was 12 grams lighter than the head of the standard XL. So did we increase ball speed? Up on screen for you now is our average ball speed with the XL, which was 139.8 mile an hour. Interesting reading. So, did that 12 grams make any difference? Our average ball speed was 139.3. It was half a mile slower than that of the standard XL. Sometimes with marketing and everyone gets the blame of who markets what and where it all goes wrong, but I always like to test the theory. And I must admit, it obviously we hit a lot of shots. So 
And when I say a lot, I hit 14 with the XL and I hit 17 with the XL Lite. And over that sh course of shots, literally half a mile an hour separated them. The wrong way around in terms of Cleveland's marketing. Weird one. However, that doesn't detract from the overall results, which I'm going to throw up for you now. So average carry distance 225 as opposed to 225. 13.4 degrees of launch opposed to 14.4. You already know the ball speed difference. 2.9 spin on the XL. The lowest spinning came from the uh, XL Lite, which surprised me, 2,554. And that end total, because of that lower spin, suggests that the XL Lite would have performed better overall. I said midway through the video that it wasn't the longest driver I've ever hit. An average of 225 with the longest ball in and there at 232. It's not the longest drive I've hit on camera nor recorded in averages overall. In terms of dispersion, is a chart with both um, drivers interestingly enough on. It shows the XL Lite performed reasonably well, I would have thought, in terms of dispersion. Certainly front to back was very good, very, very consistent. Suggests to me that the club is very forgiving. I won't be finding the centre of the club that often. And again, left to right, yet we sprayed it about a bit. I reckon we find most fairways, and if not, the first cut are rough. But that dispersion thing left to right is always reliant on swing, and to me is a slight misleader, if you like, from reviewers who suggest a club is better than the other because of where it sits in the middle of the fairway. That's a load of nonsense. It's all down to the way you swing the driver. But my overall summary was this. These two clubs, one retails at 349, the other one retails at 279. Which would I buy? I'd buy the 279 all day long. It is a really, really good performing driver and separating these two, as you can see, is very, very difficult to do so. And in this instance, the XL Lite, the cheaper product, performed better in my hands. Obviously, it really depends how these two perform in yours. But the bigger question is this. At 279, I've already stated in the video, that's virtually half the price of some of the top end drivers, Titleist, this Callaway, TM and Ping are all close to that £500 mark in terms of their drive releases. And at 279, this is exactly what a lot of you have been asking for. So that's a quality driver, built really well, Plenty of forgiveness, performs good, good ball speeds, good carry distance, good overall performance, looks good, and it's half the price. So, if that's the category you've been fitting in for, is that what you've been looking for in terms of a driver? If you're the one who's critiquing these current drivers at that top end, and quite rightly so, if that doesn't suit your budget, then to me, I would give this a massive, massive thumbs up. It is really very much good value for money. So, it hasn't got the big price different, uh, big price tag, but it's certainly got plenty of performance to suggest this is well worth giving a try. Anyway, that's me done. I said we won't prolong it any longer than we need to. Review over and done with. It's one for you to add to the list. And if you want to save a few quid, Cleveland Launcher XL Lite. Right, see you all soon.